here's how to earn bones and skulls quickly in the new Horde Hunt event for Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone in order to unlock some cool rewards including the new kill shot skin for the Swagger Operator in Season 2 as part of this Horde Hunt event. Now this Horde Hunt event is a new limited time zombie themed event in Season 2. It brings some cool bundles, rewards, spanning across Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone. They're all around for the limited time so you want to earn them before they're gone forever and in this video I explain how to earn bones and skulls incredibly fast by showing you several different easy bone and skull farming methods similar to the souls event we had for the haunting in season 6 so if you can't find this video useful be sure to drop a like on the video and check out my other season 2 guides like how to level up weapons fast and the battle pass before we carry on with the video if you're looking to permanently unlock the new mono for 3 mastery camos or play in bot lobbies to max out your guns and unlock camos quickly or get your hands on an instant delivery pre-made account then be sure to check out mitchcactus.com these guys are the biggest and most reliable sellers with tons of offerings for mono for 3 with completely safe and legitimate services on all platforms so far they've almost 10,000 reviews on trustpilot so if any of that sounds good to you guys then make sure to use code rager for five percent off for a limited time only check out the link in the description without further ado though let's get straight into this guide so in this zombie themed horde hunt event there's several different enemy types that you'll need to come across and kill them in order to earn rewards from them the first enemy type you're going to come across is the base zombies these are just the normal zombies and basically you need to earn up to 10,000 bones to unlock a bunch of ether tools and a ray gun case as well so you're going to earn a ray gun case and give yourself one in game guaranteed without having to unlock the schematic if you haven't got it unlocked and even though 10,000 bones that sounds like quite a lot it won't be too difficult with the method i show you similarly there's also armored zombies and for these you need to earn 600 skulls from killing them to earn the tiny screams charm skulls are a bit harder to come by i'll explain how to get them as well and later on in the next two weeks because this event is around for like the next three weeks or so there'll be other enemies including hellhounds and the special zombies which i believe are the mimics i think you're going to need to earn skulls from them as well to unlock similar rewards but i'll explain about that later on at the moment i'm going to explain the main way to get the bones and skulls across multiplayer zombies and warzone and then i'll talk about which mode is best at the end so starting off with multiplayer you won't be earning them in normal modes so the mode you want to be playing is horde point now this is obviously like hard point but it's zombie themed so when you go into that mode it's the armored apocalypse version and basically there's going to be many maps including medium to large base maps from the game there's also going to be some new maps so stash house meet departures and rio and greece from season one as well so most of those are older maps but there's some nice close quarters ones including stash house and meet which are good now when you're capturing the hard point in those maps zombies are going to spawn nearby and you want to keep obviously shooting them which will drop bones specifically each zombie kill you get is going to drop 10 bones so 10 zombie kills is 100 and so on when you kill armored zombies they're not as common but when you kill them they're you're going to pick up one skull from them so each armored zombie kill is one skull and obviously what you want to do is go in and kill as many zombies as you can in one go you know using the insta kills and the nuke power-ups and you can also run over bones and skulls from zombies that other players have killed as well and if you're running near the objective a lot you really need to kind of push towards that objective because that's where they spawn they spawn in little circles around that hard point area you'll see where they are there's also certain guns that they drop that you can use as well to kill them they have got a lot of health i'd say so make sure you've got a good weapon with lots of ammo that kind of thing might be worth putting on some attachments that are armor piercing as well but if you're getting lots of kills you're pushing to the objective and so on you can get a lot of bones and skulls i mean i played a match on stash house which is the new season two map it's quite small like shipment and if you're rushing near to the objective a lot you can earn well from that match i earned over 700 bones and about 60 skulls easily and that's on the smaller maps so you can get less on the larger maps but you still get a fair amount per game so it's not too difficult at all to get that 10,000 limit of bones and that was only like a five minute game or something and likewise the skulls won't be too difficult either now that's it for multiplayer let's talk about the other two modes and then we'll talk about which mode is best overall so for zombies killing a zombie gives you a chance to drop 10 bones not all zombies do but a lot of them do i'd say maybe one in two one in three something like that so what you want to do is just get as many zombies kills as you can obviously now the best places to do that is you can farm x fills you keep calling in the x fill chopper that will get loads of zombies spawn you can kill them then it will take a little while to replenish and you can do the same thing again and again you can also do certain contracts with lots of zombies the thing i like to do as an example is the outlast contract so you can obviously do the outlast contract get some kills with that you activate the pnd get some kills while you're in that area and then when it gets to about 90 to 95 percent there's a glitch going on which is useful for xp weapon xp and also for this challenge too so what you need to do is basically activate the pnd get the capture rate to about 90 to 95 percent and then what you want to do is open your inventory hold down the y button on xbox or the triangle on playstation and basically cancel the contract if you're in 
a team with multiple people, you need to do this a little bit earlier so that you have time to do it. And then what will happen is that the zombies are going to keep spawning in even though you've cancelled the contract, which is a very odd glitch. The zombies will keep coming and coming over and over again, so it's really useful and you don't have to worry about the objective or anything. If you walk far enough away from that area where you're doing the objective, the zombies will despawn and then they won't come back again. So do stay roughly in the area, but you can go a little bit outside if you need to. And just keep farming the kills over and over again to get bones. You can get quite a few hundred bones in not too long at all, so not too difficult. And for the skulls, you just need to kill armoured zombies, basically. So it isn't too difficult. That's what I do. I either farm the X-fills or Outlast contracts, things like that, and you'll get a fair amount in no time. So that's it for zombies. What about if you're playing Warzone? Well, in Warzone, the best mode you want to be playing is Plunder. And what you want to do is basically, here's my strategy, which is quite useful. I'd recommend exiting the plane, land somewhere out of the way of the flight path, so far away from where people aren't spawning and not too busy, but make sure there's a lot of buildings around. What you want to do is you want to rush from building to building, opening all loot containers. And I'm talking everything from first aid boxes to duffel bags, cash registers, lockers, cupboards, fridges, supply boxes, all of those containers. Any container you can open, that will count. Each one you open, you're going to get 100 XP and weapon XP, which is good, and money, but it's also going to give you bones. So you're going to get 30 bones per container you open. So really quite a lot of bones, which is fantastic because you can just open loads of them really quickly and really farm it. It's excellent. And there is also a chance of earning seven skulls. It's not every box, it's relatively rare, but every now and then you'll open a container, it'll give you seven skulls. So 30 bones each time and a chance of seven skulls. So in my match, I was able to get like, I think 40 skulls and over a thousand bones easily just by opening boxes. So you can get quite a lot and it's relatively easy. It shouldn't take you too long. Again, a great and easy way to do it. So those will be the three methods. I quickly wanted to talk about which mode might be best overall. Now I'd say obviously, as I'm sure you guys aren't surprised, multiplayer is probably the best way to do it, especially if they're smaller maps. If they're larger maps and it's a bit of a slower paced mode or you're getting killed a lot or something, it can be not quite as good. But if you are on the smaller maps and you're really pushing to the hard point and getting lots of zombie kills, you can get lots of skulls and bones. That's probably the best way. Like I said, if there's a larger maps and you're not doing quite as well, then Warzone is probably the second best way. But it's a very consistent way. You just go into plunder somewhere out the way, open loads of boxes and you're going to get loads of bones and a fair amount of skulls as well. I would say zombies is the slowest method so far. There might be a quicker way. I'm sure there's other bonuses and stuff, but at the moment, the way I was doing it, it didn't seem that fast to me. Maybe they'll change that. Maybe there'll be other ways. But for now, it seems like the best way is multiplayer, if not Warzone. And, you know, if you're playing zombies, great, you can get some anyway, but it's not the best way to do it. I'm sure there's bonuses for, you know, using certain blueprints and stuff or certain bundles that you have to buy, but this is just the free way to do it. So I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, you can obviously earn all the items, including the, you know, ether tools, ray gun, and the other items as well you can unlock. If you guys find this helpful, make sure to drop a like on the video and check out my other season two guides, like how to level up weapons fast, how to level up the battle pass, zombies guides, camera guides, that kind of thing. But thank you for watching, hope you find it useful, and I'll see you guys all on the next video.